Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an iTunes account. So the first thing we got to do is uh, make sure that you have the latest iTunes version. So download and install the proper uh, version for your operating system. They make it for both Mac and Windows. So once you've got that downloaded and installed, next we're going to go to store and we're going to go to create account. Next, we're going to click on continue and you're gonna agree read over the terms and conditions if you'd like I don't believe you have to have a lawyer present for this so once you've gone through everything just click on agree now we're going to enter in an email address a password uh, that you'll have to remember in order to log in doesn't necessarily have to be the same password as your email address but uh, typically I usually like to keep this the same then you're gonna enter in a challenge question and this is in the event of losing your um, your password and they can ask you a question and if you answer it correctly it will send you uh, your password or allow you to reset your password then you enter in your date of birth uh, to make sure that you're over 18 for certain content on the uh, iTunes and then you can opt in to receive new release uh, releases and additions to the iTunes store or special offers from Apple and once you've entered that click on continue okay so now you have to provide a payment method and uh, you will not be charged until you make an actual purchase so just entering in this information doesn't mean that they're gonna charge you for anything um, until you actually buy an app or purchase music or a movie um, so if you're worried about uh, entering in your actual uh, uh, credit card or bank card information then uh, I would suggest using a uh, refillable um, Visa, Master, Amex or Discover card and uh, you can pick one of those up at like a 7-eleven or a, a market a grocery store and uh, only purchase a $20 value um, so that uh, you don't go overboard with making purchases or anything like that right so I'm gonna go ahead and enter in uh, my information here and then continue on to the next step All right once you filled out your information go ahead and click on create Apple ID okay so the last step in creating your iTunes account is opening up your email and you have to verify the address so you're going to receive an email just like this and then you're going to click on verify now then you're going to have to log in with that Apple ID and password that you've created and then lastly once you have verified your account you can go ahead and click on sign in and log in with your uh, Apple ID and now you've just created your iTunes account thanks for watching